Good morning, boys and girls. This week you're going to be creating shadow art. For the beginner project, you're going to be creating an animal. The intermediate, you're going to be using found objects and creating it into something. And then the advanced, you're going to watch a video and use that as inspiration. For the beginner project, you're going to need a stuffed animal or animal toy, a light source like the sun or a flashlight, paper, pencil, and crayons. You're going to put the stuffed animal or the animal toy on the paper, and then you're going to shine the light on it, or if you're outside using the sun, you're going to position it so you can see the whole shadow of the animal on the paper. And then you're going to trace it, and then you're going to draw the animal's pattern inside the shadow. If your animal does not have a pattern, like it's a elephant, it's okay. You're just going to add more details in the background. And then you're going to color with crayons. For the intermediate project, you are going to need paper, pencil, crayons, a light source like the sun or a flashlight, and found objects, at least three found objects or just stuff you find around the house. So for this first step, you're going to put the found objects together until they look like something, and then you're going to shine a light on top of them and trace the shadows. So for me, I used blocks and then I shine a light on them and I thought it looked like a robot. So then for the steps three and four, you're going to add details to it to make it look like that. So I added the arms and his face to make it look like a robot and I made it so he could change faces. So if he got mad, he just switches his face, kind of like the Toy Story character. And then you're going to color with crayons. For the advanced project, you are going to Google or YouTube the America's Got Talent shadow performers, and there's a whole bunch of videos. You can either look for the one that I have pictured below or watch one that spikes your interest, and then you're going to use your hand and create like shadow puppets, or you can include your family and come up with any shadow that you think is cool, and you can make anything. When you're done, you're going to send in your pictures to Palette. If you created a video, you can email that to me. And I can't wait to see your creative projects.